Welcome back to Ferro's Technology. Today we will continue showing you how an absolute beginner can make a professional looking spreadsheet. In this five minute tutorial, we'll show you how to use formulas to let Excel do the work for you. Formulas can perform math functions, look for minimum and maximum values, perform conditional equations, and a whole lot more. In our last two videos, we entered and formatted a ledger. If you've followed along in our previous videos, go ahead and open up your ledger and work alongside us. If you haven't, we have a link to those videos at the end of this one. Okay, I don't want to waste any more of our five minutes, so let's get started. Let's start by defining what a formula is. As always, we have a glossary of terms in the description. A formula is a mathematical expression that performs calculations based on our values in your spreadsheet. Just like how math uses variables to represent unknown values, we can create formulas that reference cells in our spreadsheets. To begin writing a formula, click into the cell below our last entry of the credit column in the ledger. We're going to begin writing a formula that will calculate the sum of all of our transactions. To start a formula, type the equal sign into the cell. This tells Excel that this is a formula. Now click on another cell to reference it. Let's click on the cell with the value $650. Press Enter to finish the formula. Immediately the formula is solved. In this case, the formula just makes it equal to the other cell. To see the formula, click on the cell that we started with. The formula window shows you the formula while the cell retains the calculated value. The formula says equals E9. What does E9 come from? We reference cells by the cells column and row. In this case, E9 is the cell directly above our formula. But we don't want to just copy the above value. We'd like to add them all up. To do that, we need to learn two more things, functions and ranges. A function is a predefined formula. Today, we will be using the sum function. To use the sum function, we begin, like we do any cell, with an equal sign. Then type sum and an open parenthesis. All functions must be followed by an open and a closed parenthesis. Inside them, we include the arguments, the values that the function needs to work. The sum needs a range of values to add together. A range is a set of cell references. To select the range, with your pointer on the top value of the credit column, click and hold your mouse down, dragging downward until it highlights all our transactions, then let go of the mouse button. The formula now shows you two cell references separated by a colon. That is a range. End your formula with a closed parenthesis and press enter. The cell now shows a total of all the values in the credits column. Now let's do that again for debits. Select cell D10, type equals sum and open parenthesis to start the formula. Select all the cells from D2 to D9, close the formula with a parenthesis and press enter. It should show the only deposit we have. We have one more formula to write here. Let's see how much money is in our account at the end of the period. Instead of using a function like sum, we can do simple math operators. We want to subtract the credits from our debits. So we type equals, then we click in cell D10, then the minus sign or dash symbol, then E10. This will subtract the credits from the, our debit. Press enter. We now have a spreadsheet that totals our transaction, sums them up, and gives us a total. I hope this video gave you a glimpse into the time-saving benefits of a spreadsheet that does our calculations for us. In our next video, we'll be turning our ledger into a chart giving us a visual representation of our cash flow and where our money is spent. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like button and let others know that there's good information here. If you want to catch the rest of the series, click subscribe and you'll be notified as the rest of the videos are released. Thanks for watching.